We turn now to those new details on congestion pricing that will impact drivers across the tri-state area. We've been talking about this plan for years now, but this is the first time we're getting more concrete numbers in a new draft report from the Traffic Mobility Board. It lays out everything from how much drivers will pay to the timing of the tolls to who gets discounts and who doesn't and when this will all take effect. We do have team coverage for you tonight. CBS 2's Christine Sloan is reporting on the impact in New Jersey, but we begin with political reporter Marsha Kramer, who first obtained this draft report report late last night, Marsha. Well, Alice and Maurice, this day has been 16 years in the making, ever since former Mayor Michael Bloomberg decided to steal or maybe repurpose the plan used in London to reduce pollution and raise money for mass transit. And even though there's no love lost from drivers, I got to say it could have been a whole lot worse. The original proposal was $23 a trip instead of the $15 toll they finally settled on. We really wanted to make sure that that as our recommendations came out in general, the public would think that they were fair. A lofty goal from the head of the Traffic Mobility Review Board that prepared the recommendations that for the very first time tell drivers just how much it could cost to drive into the Central Business District. The plan winning praise from transit advocates. The deliberations came out uh, with a, a good middle uh, figure that it's fair, it's equitable. And a whole hunk of hunk of criticism from others. Killing me. Killing me, everybody. That's a lot of money. I think this is terrible. I mean, it really doesn't help the common commuter who actually like might live in the Queens and may want a better way to get through downtown. According to this draft report, people driving cars into Manhattan's central business district will pay $15 between 5 a.m. and 9 p.m. on weekdays, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. on weekends. Small trucks pay $24, big trucks $36, motorcycles $750, and everyone gets a 75% discount after 9 p.m. People who take the four tunnels that empty into the congestion zone, the Holland, Lincoln, Queens, Midtown, and Brooklyn Battery get a $5 credit during the day, nothing at night. There is no credit for drivers taking the George Washington Bridge. People who take taxis into the zone pay a $1.50 surcharge. Passengers in four higher vehicles pay a $2.50 surcharge. I believe we'll be a model for the nation without creating an undue financial burden because we have public transportation at a very affordable cost. But Mayor Adams wasn't willing to accept the proposal as written in stone. I think the, the $15 proposal is the beginning of the conversation. Um, now it's time to hear from community to deliberate and to make the determination of who is going to be exempted, who's not going to be exempted. The mayor says people going to the hospitals in the congestion zone deserve exemptions. We decided that um, that would be uh, inappropriate and very difficult uh, if we provided it to, uh, to actually enforce and monitor in any significant way. Now, the issue of exemptions is one of the sticky wickets in the report, and you'd be really surprised that the people will have to pay full freight of uh, that part of the story coming up at 6. Alice, Maurice. Tough to predict, but do you get the sense that this is pretty much the final? Because yes. there's going to be public discussion. People are going to say what they want, mm -hmm. but this sounds like what they want to have done. Well, here's the bottom line. Anything that they change means that the fare goes up, the base toll goes up. They don't want to do that. And the truth is the reason they appointed this mobility panel so that the MTA board has deniability, they did it. <laughs> <laughs> and it could be as thorough as they can, apparently, right? Okay. All right, Marsha, thank you.